welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. All right, so today what I wanna do is talk about Complete Start. If you haven't heard of Complete Start, it is a bundle by Native Instrument. It comes with some samplers in there, it comes with effects, and it even comes with some sounds. So I'm gonna go through and check out how to actually get it to work inside of Reaper. Let's go. All right, so here we are, the complete start page. Uh, and as you can see, it gives you some instruments. Uh, you, you can hook it up with machine. You get some effects in here as well. So basically all you do is click on this free download and it'll take you to an area where you can actually, if you already have an account, uh, you just hit get free software or you can just create an account. Uh, it's really just that simple to get this started, all right? And you also get all these different things. You get these instruments for free. So the Irish harp, these, these two are pretty new. And this one is actually pretty new as well. This is actually a really cool choir. Uh, and you get the factory selection too, which is really, really good. It gives you a lot of the basics that you'll need for instruments inside of Complete Start, right? It also comes with effects. It has an ozone EQ, this ROM. This is one of my favorite reverbs to actually use. They have the trash light, which is really cool. They have the supercharger, the replica, Guitar Rig 7. Uh, if you haven't used Guitar Rig, it is a really, really good effects to use on guitars and other things as well. And they also give you this vinyl plugin as well for free. All right, so this is the contact player. Um, this is the contact eight that I have up here. As you can see, contact eight. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting that they made it uh, as small as they did. Uh, they give you a couple of options to change uh, some of the views on here. But what I'm gonna do is where it has this new instrument for you, I'm gonna just hit this little drop down over here and this will drop it down so it's kind of out of the way. And as you see, uh, you can have all your uh, different instruments and things right here inside this player. So yeah, so this is how it looks now. They have a whole bunch of new tools in here. So this combined thing where you can actually combine uh, some contact sounds and the new tools that they have. Uh, they give you this free piano uno. I think that's pretty cool that they give you this free piano. If you go up here to tools, the tools will show you that they have chords and they have phrases. We'll kind of go over those as well. There's an option for leap. Leap is their new thing to use. And it's kind of like arcade. If you have ever used arcade, this is pretty much what it's like, right? You have your loops still, and you still have your, like your one shot section where you can do your one shots and loops, right? So let's go back to instruments. Um, a lot of people don't necessarily like this view, this new view that they actually have. So you can actually click right here where it says library and it'll kind of bring you to like the newer view that they want you to actually use now where this will be your any kind of tools that you're using. This is where they want you to use them. And then you have your instrument, whatever sound you want underneath it. If you are still not a fan of this, you can still go back to the old view. You can just click on view and go to classic view, which is right here. And it'll bring you back to your classic view uh, of using contact, All right? So if you're not sure how to actually use contact, I do have some videos showing you how to actually do multiple outs inside of your contact. It is still relevant for this contact eight as well. It's pretty much the same exact setup and features. The only difference is you have to make sure you're in this view. You have to be in the classic view in order to actually do the multiple outs because the other view doesn't actually have that option. So you can see here where it says outs. Now you can see your outs. But if you go to the other view, that, that view is no longer there. So if you go back to the default view, there's no outs option on here. Um, I haven't been able to find one. If you do know of a way to do it from here, let me know below in the comment section, but I haven't seen one yet. All right. So if you, like I said, if you wanna do that way, if you wanna do multiple outs from your contact, you would have to go to the view and then go to classic view. That's the only way I've found to actually do it. But let's go through some of the features that are included inside of this contact player. And this is just a contact player. I don't have contact eight. I didn't upgrade. I'm thinking about it, but 
I'm probably not going to, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let's start with the combinate com combined one. So I'm gonna go right here where it says combined and let's go to this piano uno, right? So if I click on that, it'll bring me to uh, a whole bunch of different options that you have for like different chord progressions. So let's see if we can find one. Let's do fire. I actually like the fire. one. So let's go to fire, right? So I'm gonna double click it and it's gonna pull up. The phrases tool. So this is the phrases tool. This is what it looks like, right? So it has a whole bunch of different uh, options on here. You can randomize by clicking here. So you can randomize the sound, right? Or go back. So this is how you could go back. You just go back to the last one you were at. So if you hit a key, and you have a whole bunch of different phrases that you can actually use in different places. So right here is a little play button, so you can play it. So you can hear the sounds. Right, so let's say that you wanted to change this one. You can actually go here to this little dice and it'll actually change it to a different sound, right? So let's hear what this one sounds like. Right, so you have all these different ways of kind of randomizing and making different unique sounds in here. And you have an option to rotate the sounds. So if you wanted to move it around, you can rotate it, right? You can invert the chords and bring them in and out. I thought that was really cool. Um, this is like your global setting to change it for all of them. Uh, and up here is where you can actually lock your key. So if you wanted it to be in a certain key or in a certain uh, scale, you can actually do that right here at the top. I think that's really, really cool, right? And if you hit this settings button, you can go to some advanced stuff in here. So you can go to advanced and give it a playable range of where you want stuff to play. Uh, you have an option to do like a legato or a re-trigger. You can re-trigger and turn it on and off. I think that's really, really cool that they added all these little uh, details inside here that you can actually use, right? So you can add dynamics. Uh, you can change your octave so you can make it go up octaves or down octaves. Uh, you can change the tempo of it, so make it faster or slower. And you can even do a swing on here. So let's say that you did like this and you wanted to kind of just put it inside of the doll. They have this little arrow here, right? So I can grab this and drag it. And as you see, I can pull the MIDI straight into Reaper. And what I'm gonna do is turn off this uh, Ignite just so it doesn't play the other keys. So I'm gonna hit this button and I'll actually turn it off. Right, so now if I have it on, now it's, it's actually on. As you see, you can't hear anything on there. Right, so if you have it off, So pretty cool. Um, I actually really like this, uh, these features that they have on here. And these are different phrases that you can use. All right, so I'm gonna do this myth one. All right, and as you can see, the myth one changes it to the chords tool. And of course you still have your option to lock your uh, key in if you wanted to, and you can actually even click here to change uh, different things about the chord tool. So you can pick your genre over here. You can do a type, simple, a medium, a complex. You could do popular and unusual for different styles. And you see they have a whole bunch of different sets that you can actually use in here as well. And it gives you an option to drag and drop these sets wherever you want to inside of the doll. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so I'll close this out so you can see all the chords up here. So even if you wanted to change the individual chords, you can use the roll of the dice and it'll actually change that chord 
right there. And if you want to drag this chord in, you can just drag it up to your sound. I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, they even give you an option to kind of search for your own individual sound for that key right there. Right. So let's say that for this key, we didn't want it to be this and we wanted to actually play something. So let's say I wanted to record those notes and I can go hit record right here and I can play a note. Right. So now I've just made my own chord. And as you see, it's playing that chord that I just made. So now what I can do, I can use the strum. And humanize it. And even give it an octave up. So I thought that was pretty cool. You can kind of just make like your own like chord progression if you wanted to in here as well. So that that definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I like it. All right. So the next thing they have in here is called leap. So I'm going to go through these low five vibe ones and I'm going to take off the tools. So this tools is up here. So I'm going to take the tools off. Right. So here is the kit. Here is the play option. You can actually edit stuff. You can edit the actual wave. You can put it to the grid or you can take it off the grid and you can snap even do like a zero crossing for your snap as well. Right. And you have your start and ending and your loop markers and your start and end markers. So that thing, that's really cool that you have those options right here. You can go up here to where it says send and effects. So you can do your sends for a and B. So this, the a is a delay and the B is a reverb. Then you have your performing effects. So basically these are the effects that are down here. So you can change them to different things if you want to. So this is like a forward and reverse or double time, half time and other uh, things you can actually add to your sounds. So I thought that was really, really cool that they added that in here. Or if you wanted to actually do something different here, you have option for a uh, gator beat masher, beat slicer, uh, reverse grain and transpose, right? So I thought that was pretty cool that they had those on there where you can try to change your performance if you wanted to on here. Uh, and you can even give it like a mixed level of how much you want, how much you want to take away, how many bars it is. So I thought this is like really, really dope. And like I said, this reminds me of arcade, uh, the way they have this kind of set up on here. Cause if you look, it has like these, uh, loop markers on here. Right. And it goes around just like it does inside of arcade. Right. And you have an option to do like a quantize if you wanted to. And you also get to lock in your key. Right. So let's go back to the play part and it kind of doesn't stop there. You can actually add your own sounds in here and make your own little display for this as well. So I thought, all those things together, make it a really, really cool way to use this tool, right? And you can even set different macros right here. So it just matters which one you actually want to use. So let's try like the leap mangle. So you have different macros you can use right here on the tool as well, right? And if you go over here to this editing tool, I think the editing tool is really, really cool about this as well. You can get an uh, option to do like uh, your sound. You can mess with your sound, put filters on here. Uh, different kind of amps. You could change your output volume, pan, delay, and reverb, right? So you have all that in here. You have your cutoff options in here. And you could do a low pass, a high pass, and a band pass as well, right? So you have different filters. So you can do a filter for juicy. <laughs> I don't know what juicy means, but yeah. All right. Then they have a uh, mild, and then they have an aggressive one. So you have different filters that you can actually use on here as well. Right. And if you just go to like the engine part, now you have an option to go and change it. Uh, so this is the classic sound. This is the original, right? So it's not synced to anything. Uh, then you have your melody option and then you have an option to kind of slice, right? So it'll play like those slices. And it doesn't matter how much, you know, slicing you actually want to do to the sound itself. And you can change the speed of it. 
Uh, you can actually sync it or unsync it to the actual uh, tempo. I think that was really dope as well. And of course you get to lock in your key. You get to change your, your tune of it as well. And you can take it off a loop if you wanted to, right? And you have an option to, to just latch the keys if you want to, if you just want to hold, have it hold down on a key. So it'll kind of just play on its own. And you have like choke groups that you can actually create as well. So let's say that we did want to just use just this sound. We can actually put that on all the keys. So if I wanted to go single, right? So now So I get that to be on all the keys just for that sound. I thought that was really really cool that you had the option to do that. So what's really cool is they give you an option to like drag and drop sounds. I'm just going to drag and drop this onto the contact player. So now Right. So now you have an option to kind of use this sample, however you want to inside of uh, contact player eight. And I thought this was dope. And this is the leap function that they have on here. And what's really cool is that you can like, I switch it over to the beat. So basically it's giving me like the little chopped up beats. I thought that was really, really dope that they give you that option in there, right? And you can always do like the, the neutral one and you can just try to change the style up. So they have a, a S1200, which is more like a SP1200 and they have a MPC60. And these are the different styles that you can actually use on there as well. I thought that was really, really dope that they actually did that on here. But yeah, and you can even do like a reverse on here. So if I wanted to reverse the sample. Right. If you haven't already, I would say definitely go download it from complete start. This is the free contact player eight. Uh, if you are willing or if you are one of those people who want to actually keep updating your contact, I am not one of those people. But if you are, uh, it is actually out there and available. I think they even have it as a dis at a discount right now. But yeah, so the this is what I wanted to kind of show you guys in this video. A couple of the new features that they actually had it in this contact player eight. So if you haven't already, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. Uh, let me know if you guys have like any questions about it below in the comment section. If you want me to do a tutorial of how to actually use this contact player with multiple instruments, let me know below in the comment section as well. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. And I want to thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. See you next time, people. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. Nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.